Welcome back to the show, guys. I'm your host, Valentine. Welcome to the section. I know this is Monday. We're Monday. But this section is supposed to come out every uh, Sunday morning. But I didn't have the time. And we're, we're dropping it on Monday morning. We're dropping it Monday because that's how we do it here. <laughs> All right. So so let's talk about a little bit about what I've actually covered in the channel. But there's there's a little bit of misconception. And there's... um. Uh, I mean, everybody's just talking about it, so let's talk about it. Now we're talking about the race of Jesus Christ. Sean King has come out. He wants to cancel the white supremacist tool of oppression, um, the white Jesus Christ. I'm like, why are we going to take it to that? And then he goes on and on, and he says, if you need a blue-eyed, white-skinned Jesus to be of your religion, your religion is not Christianity, and I'm going to answer to that. But we're going to talk about what does this crazy book called the Bible says about what does Jesus Christ look like. First of all, there's 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 no direct description of how Jesus Christ, or his skin tone at least, in, Jesus, uh, in the Bible, right? It talks about other things, and we're going to be talking about the importance of context. And if you don't know how the Bible is structured, because the Bible is not like any regular book. Sometimes it's best to don't even opine on the things of the Bible if you don't know the context of the Bible and where it says what it says and why does it say what it says and who is it written to. This is very important. This is all extremely important. The facts are Jesus Christ is a Jewish man. His genealogy is traced in the Bible through from Adam, through Abraham, all the way to Jesus Christ, right? He's Jewish. What color are Jewish people today? What are what? what? You, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Some crazy people will call them white people. <laughs> we'll call them whites because they are white people. Jewish people are white people, right? Um, and then another place where a lot of leftists like to take to 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 talk about Jesus is called the Book of. Revelation. The book of Revelation is at the end of the book, and it's talking about the end times of the Bible, the end times of the world, actually. And it's talking about where it actually, in, in the first chapter, it talks about Jesus. And it says that Jesus has woolly hair. So if he has woolly hair, that doesn't mean, that means he's not white, right? Um, and it's talking about something regarding bronze skin. So if they're talking about bronze skin, then he's not white. But what is it talking about? This is the fact about it. The book of Revelation is it has a lot of um also imagery and in particular this one right here is talking about Jesus that ascended Jesus into heaven not the Jesus that walked around here in Galilee not not that Jesus the Jesus that was ascended and how was he looked in a glorified body in a different body if you're going to say that Jesus was a brown man or a bron bron bronze as they say it and woolly hair meaning uh nappy hair <laughs> uh then you also got to take with you that it also says that Jesus has a sword coming out of his mouth. And you see people not mentioning anything about that sword. So let's talk about it a little bit here. This is Revelation chapter 1. Let me read you a little bit what it says here. So it's uh, Revelation chapter 1. We're going to be reading from verse 12 to about uh, verse 16. Let's see, let's see what it says here. I turn around to see the voice that was speaking to me. And when I turned, I saw seven golden lampstands. Um, and among the lamps then was someone like the son of man. The son of man, the Bible is, when they say the son of man, they're talking about Jesus Christ. So, someone like the son of man dressed in a robe reaching down his feet and with a golden sash around his chest. His head and hair were white like wool. So first of all, they were white like wool. Was Jesus' hair here on earth white like wool? Nowhere does it say that. He was about 33 when he died. So I doubted that his hair was white like wool. As with as snow, and his eyes were like blazing fire. His feet were like bronze glowing in a furnace. See, this, this is what they're talking. They're talking about bronze, that it's not white. So, but look what it's saying. Like his feet were like bronze glowing in a furnace, and his voice was like sound of rushing water. In his right hand, he held seven stars, and out of his mouth came a sharp double-edged sword. His face was like the sun shining in all its brilliance. So again, if you're going to say that, his complexion was brown, that he had woolly hair. You also have to say that there was a <laughs> that there's a sword coming out the mouth of Jesus. Um, 
mouth, right? Um, to Sean King, if you need, if your Jesus, Sean King, cannot be a white man with blue eyes, then your religion, my friend, is not Christianity. Christianity puts zero, zero emphasis on people color of their skins. Everybody, everybody is brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter who you are, black, white, green. It doesn't even talk about uh, anything resembling skin color or anything in the Bible because we're all one. And when we understand that, that we're all the human race, we will start getting somewhere. But I know for 100% sure that that's never going to happen because the devil has crept into the mind of these people and the devil came to for, to do one thing only is to lie and destroy guys god bless god speed remember um the channel uh, the live show is going to be every single week now fridays 8 p.m to 9 p.m we're going to get to the calls a little bit sooner we Come talk to me. Hey, you disagree with this video that I did today. You literally have an opportunity to call me and talk to me. Everything is private. Everything is uh, anonymous. You don't have to tell me your name. I'm just going to say the area code. And we could go from there having an adult conversation, accepting different viewpoints. And that's how we grow, believe it or not. God bless. God speed me, Valentine. I'm out.